There's one right there. That feels good. There's one. Wow. It's <laughs> a net. There, there we go. <laughs> good one. Real good one. Look at that beast. Beautiful. They got it. Wow, it's a big one, dude. Oh, man. Nice job, you two. Lundboats proudly presents the ultimate fishing experience. This week on Lund's The Ultimate Fishing Experience. Minnesota's Twin Cities metro area is home to many quality fishing lakes. The largest, most well-known and productive is Lake Minnetonka. In spring, while the water is still relatively cool, Baitfish gather in the shallows, and walleye, along with other hungry predators, follow closely behind. Targeting these shallow walleyes is a favorite of Travis Frank. And it's not just the walleyes. After years of guiding here, Travis knows the beauty of Lake Minnetonka is the strength of its multi-species action. Today, Travis is joined on his home lake by Rapala's Dan Quinn. No stranger to multi-species fishing, Dan knows this has all the ingredients for a great day on the water. How about that? Hey there, Travis Frank here. It is mid-May, and we're right after Minnesota's fishing opener. This is my buddy Dan Quinn. We love to fish together. We love to fish in the metro waters here in Minnesota. This is one of my home waters, and the water is cool right now, and we're gonna target walleyes, but the beauty of fishing the metro lakes here in Minnesota is that there's a variety of fish. So even though we're gonna target walleyes, we're gonna have a good shot at catching a lot of bass today. And then you've got panfish, northern pike mixed in, and an occasional muskie, which I love. Hey, sign me up for that. Yeah. It's one of the greatest things about fishing in the Midwest, multi-species, and we've got minnows, we've got lures. I say we get after it. Let's do it. All right. It's really early season yet, and it's probably my favorite time of the year to fish on a lot of these metro lakes. The milfoil lakes down here are just full of all the fish, you know, and the cold water that we have, um, it just really congregates everything up shallow. The bass have yet to spawn, but they just moved up. And, you know, it changes every day because it depends on, you know, what happened that night. How cold did it get? Did it push some fish out? Are they gonna be up? Because we're just at that early stage of them moving up to, to start to spawn. And the beauty of that is that we can catch a lot of fish. I anticipate just a variety of fish and a lot of them. Hopefully, we can get a few big ones mixed in too. It's gonna be fun. It's a very, it's a unique way to catch walleyes, right? We're casting shallow, the sun's been up. A lot of people, they get intimidated about fishing walleyes during the middle of the day. And what I've learned in that these are all stocked fish. They don't behave always the same way that uh, natural walleye would. Stocked walleyes spend the first year of their life in these small, muddy, weedy ponds before they get netted out and then dumped into the lakes. Well, sure. where do they go when they get dumped into these lakes? Into the weeds. What they know. Yeah, yeah. that's what they know. So it's a, it's a little bit different. I fish walleyes like I bass fish. And that's why we catch a variety of everything. Everything is going to be in the shallows right now. Um, you know, the whole ecosystem is up shallow. You got all the bugs moving up there. You got all the bait fish going to get the bugs. And then you got the predators that come in after them. And it just, it just makes for a great day of fishing because the number of fish you can catch, the size of the fish you can catch, and the fact that we don't have to go out and fish at midnight to catch a walleye. <laughs> I, I like that too. I like it too, I'm with, yeah. you, I'm with you there. It's, it's amazing when you get a walleye in three, four, five feet of water, how they react like a bass. Yeah, I think people don't give them enough credit for the, the predators they are and where they live, you know? There's a lot of walleyes up shallow in the weeds, there's no doubt. You get him? Got him. You got him. Come on. Yes, sir. What do you Ooh. got there, buddy? I don't know, Trav. It feels like a nice fish, though. Ooh, I think I saw a white tail. I believe it. Golly, this is... I do. Trav, what do I have? You got a huge walleye, man. That's what we came for. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's a big one. Yeah. Trav, are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, Dan. This is awesome. There we go. Oh. oh. He's, he doesn't want to come in. Come here, you. Hey. Look at that. That's how you start a day right there, bud. 
He didn't mind the purple jig. He didn't mind the purple <laughs> jig. There you go. Nice fish, bud. Good start. <laughs> a couple yeah. casts. Look at that. Yeah. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's Man. what I love. I just love this time of the year. The fish are aggressive. You know, the sun is quite quite high already in the sky, but he didn't seem to mind. He did not mind. And I have a feeling he there's going to be a few too. more there, too. He thumped it like he wanted to steal it away from his buddies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, Trev, let's throw this guy in the live well. Kay. Take a few pictures after this. That's a nice yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, there was a huge We didn't come here to here net. The other day. <laughs> 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 Heck yeah, man. Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Cool story here, Dan. My first son, the first kid that was born, brought him out here. He was four weeks old. And he was not a happy baby. <laughs> a lot <laughs> of screaming. And we got him out on the boat and all of a sudden he just went completely calm for the first time in four weeks. We're like, this, oh. is, this is his place. <laughs> and his happy we're, place. We're just boating around and I said, well here, I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish. You know, So our first time ever fishing together, I cast out and I hook into a big walleye and it was probably about a six pounder and it got off just before I could net it. And I was just devastated and I cast it back out very next cast, I got a 30 incher. So oh. I hold up my son, and he's 20, you know, he's a low 20 incher, and I've got him compared next to this 30 inch walleye, <laughs> and the walleye just dwarfs this kid. It's so great. That's awesome. If you touch the weeds here, see how we got? This is the first weed growth of the season, and that's why we've got fish here. We're just starting to come up, and this water is really cold. The minnows, all the bugs, everything. Life is happening up here in the shallow water, whereas the deep, cold water hasn't really started to attract a lot of the bait yet. So everything is up here. They're done, they're finished with the spawn, but they're eating up in the shallow water. And that's, that's why I just love targeting them up here because there's, when they hit the jig, they're so aggressive, they just crush it. And I fish it aggressively. I'm using a 3 8 ounce jig here and we're only fishing in four to seven feet of water. And most people would say, I wanna use a lighter jig, you know, as light as I can get away with. I always hear people say that. And yes, that can be true, but when fish are ultra aggressive, I wanna fish ultra aggressive too. And I wanna cover a lot of water and they do not shy away from this size at all. When they eat, they're eating here. They'll hang out there, but you just, you just don't catch them very often until they're <laughs> until there. My image has been reversed. Hey, I think I <laughs> go figure. Shows what I know. What do I have? It's not small. It's a big walleye. A big walleye, it's man. A big walleye. Trav, this is awesome, man. Yeah. Sweet. Boy, this guy ate his Wheaties. Yeah. Look at this one. Oh. Oh. oh, and the jig popped out. Did it really? <laughs> yes. Trav, there holy go. cow. There you go. What a fish, man. There you go. You're dialed in. Another big old walleye, Trav. Yeah, he's a beauty. Wow. He thumped it, too. Yeah. Uh, I. Isn't that something? I, I don't know. I just like, people always say, oh, it never gets old. It never gets old. But it doesn't, like it just never gets old. You catch a big wall, I like that. And it's just so much fun. This is just a beautiful spot. I mean, he's perfect. Yeah. Twin city walleye, in case you never catch another one. Let's put this one in the box. Take some pictures after. <laughs> if the bite slows, maybe not. But <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, don't cast over there. I never bite over there. <laughs> Isn't that a classic? That is awesome. Oh, man. Again, we look out and we're not seeing other people fishing out here right now. We're in shallow water and, you know, it's mid-morning. It's not sunrise and the fish are up here eating. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I'm going to try. In my only defense, in about three weeks, out deeper there the rocks come into play. Then it becomes pretty good. 
but typically yeah. this early and the water being this cold, they're gonna be on the shallower side of this. There you go, Dan, nice. Another big walleye. Look at you go. Look at I'm a you. walleye master trap. Look at you go. I thought you were just going to be my I'm bass. I'm bass fisherman. My bass Look at man. that. Oh, he's just a baby by Dan standards. Got a boy. How about that? Walleye bump. Keep hey, it down. you know what? I, when I said, you know, the purple, don't use it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. That's an awesome fish. Well, what the heck? There we go. Oh my gosh. What's that? Look at the jig. It's in the back <laughs> of his throat. <laughs> They're hungry. That dude was hungry. Look at this one. He's hungry too, but just like not quite hungry enough. Gosh. <laughs> that thing got bit right now. Oh. I don't know about you, Trow, but I like fish fries. You gonna take that baby home? What do you think? Yeah. If you're cooking, I'll eat. Should we go catch some more, Trav? There's a good one. Boy, that thing hit it hard. We almost doubled up. Gosh, man, this is awesome. Nice walleye. Ah, yeah. Look at that thing. Swallowed it inside there. <laughs> I think we're in the midst of a feeding window, Trav. No this place awesome. I'd rather be. There it is. Perfect walleye. That's perfect. Almost a double on there. Dan, there's a whole school of fish right in front of us. I thought they were bass on the active target. They were walleyes. What's special about this spot? Sometimes things are special and you don't know why, Dan. You just, just say, you're special and- <laughs> Accept it. Accept it. Go with it. Yep. Here's this bar that we were coming down. Oh yeah, look at that. When we came down that ledge, I mean, it's just beautiful. Gosh. The thing about this lake is that there is just so much to fish. There's so many places and just all of the fish that you could spend a year out here and never fish at all. This is my home. This feels more like home than the, the house that I live in. I, I grew up fishing out here. When I turned 16, I took a bunch of my lawnmower money and convinced the bank that I could pay the, the loan on a boat. So I bought a boat and I started guiding when I was 16 years old on Metro Waters here in the Twin Cities going after muskies, bass, walleyes, panfish. The variety is what makes this such a great place to fish. Almost 25 years I've been guiding now. I still do it. I'm a full-time television producer. That's my full-time job, but I am a fishing guide on the side and always a fishing guide in my heart. I'm just passionate about it. I just love outsmarting fish and then teaching other people how to catch them too. I have young kids now. I love teaching them. I love watching them catch the fish. One thing I started when I started guiding was I allowed people that purchased a guide trip from me to bring kids 12 and under for free. And the reason I did that is because I just see, I would just see so many adults out fishing and their kids might be struggling. And I thought, I, I will focus on the kids and teach them how to catch a lot of fish. And by the end of the day, they do catch a lot of fish. They just left the lake with a great experience. And for me, that's what I really enjoy. And I've heard stories of those kids that have grown up and a couple of them are their own fishing guides now. And so it's cool to just have a small hand in it. But sometimes with children, we only have a short opportunity to make that impression and to me it's important. Uh, so I, I now produce and host television shows, outdoor television shows, which are a dream job for me to be able to do and some days I think about it and I, I pinch myself, you know, but um, it all started right here. It all started on this lake and I always come back to it because it's special for me. There's one. Oh, bass. Ah, a nice one, though. 
Dan, I got one of your favorite fish here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Ah, hey, there we go. Couldn't resist a jig and a minnow. Nice guy. Cold water, they have yet to spawn this fish. Got some babies in there. She's gonna go right back to make a bunch more. Good old fashioned jig and minnow fishing. There's so much technology and so many awesome baits and sometimes you just go back to the old school method, jig and minnow, and it just works. It's about all it takes for me to grab a 7.2 medium heavy with some heavy fluorocarbon and a jig. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's some more. Could be a big school of bass, all for catching those guys. <laughs> that one's smacked. That one? That's a better one. All right. Dan Quinn. There you go. Nice. The old skirted jig. It's a little better one. Starting to justify our multi species day, right? That's right. A little better yeah. quality. This time of the year, they can get really schooled up in these areas where they're staging to spawn, and it's perfect conditions. We've got a big shallow flat. It's a great spot for them to spawn. There's probably a whole pile of them somewhere around here. Oh, man, I don't know. Oh, there it's another go. bass. Man, big like walleyes a, getting some bass. Like a kid on Christmas morning. Look at oh. you. Bass master DQ. Oh. I'll take it. Yeah, atta boy. Heck yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Man, you're a good guide trap. You're a below average net man. <laughs> <laughs> I've got room for improvement. I don't care what your boss says, hey, you, you're doing all right. <laughs> the working for Rapala is pretty much a dream job, but more specifically what I get to do for Rapala Managing pro staff, working with media partners is truly a dream come true, a dream job. I'll never pass up an opportunity to hop in the boat with Trav or, or anyone on our staff and get new experiences with, with different fishing styles, different techniques, different types of fish. And just try to gather as much intel and information as I can to bring back to the office and share with our product development teams and try to continually make new and better mouse traps to catch the fish. And today, I'm doing some real Heavy lifting with some research on the Rapala Fathead <laughs> with the VMC jig. So sometimes cold water equals live bait. <laughs> and you gotta do what you gotta do. We're okay with that. Oh, Dan, there's a, there's a fish 40 feet just off the front of the boat. It's interesting watching in real time how the fish are moving around on this structure. Right here I've got my active target. That's mounted on the front, so as I'm moving along I can scan, and it is just amazing. Since this live imaging technology has come out, how much more I understand about fish behavior and how much I affect them. Now, I can see them ahead of the boat, which is what's amazing about this technology. In the past, I had to drive over the top of them before the sonar on the trolling motor would read them. I've got eyes in front of the boat. Oh, there's one. 60 feet out. Look at that big guy. So watching the fish, understanding how they're relating to the structure and how they're moving throughout the day in the water column really makes me a better angler. Oh, there goes another one. I've got a map if I wanted to. I could save it right here without losing that image. And that's why I go with multiple graphs and multiple ways to look down there and see the fish. At the end of the day, I firmly believe it makes me a better angler. Today, we are fishing in my Lund Pro V Bass 2075. This is a dream fishing machine. It's excellent for fishing small lakes, big water, anything in between. It's got the deep V hull to take on big water, but what they did was they raised the floor in this boat. So I have just a ton 
of space in here. I can fish multiple people in the front or myself. Same in the back, a lot of space right here. But the cool part is underneath these massive decks are massive storage spaces. Huge storage locker for all my tackle, 15 rods, and actually you can put more if you want, but my nine foot musky rods fit in here, no problem, along with my big musky tackle boxes. Ton of storage, my cockpit up here that I use to find all the fish. I've got my ghost trolling motor on front, but then I've got my Lowrance graphs kind of built the way that I want them. And the foot pedal, which I like, is built right in to the floor. The seats in the back flip up, which is super convenient. Boom, we're fishing. And then on the back, I've got my Mercury Pro XS 250 horsepower. This thing is just a beast. It's got tons of power, yet fuel efficient. And it's just a fishing machine. Got one. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Right by the boat too. Was it? Yeah. And a boy. Come on, Mr. Y. Come on, buddy. There we go. There you go. Dan. Oh, one more in the bag, Trav. Boy. Yes. Nice fish. I always thought the green was the way to go. Yeah, well, maybe you just got lucky today. Maybe I got or lucky. Who knows? Maybe there's something to it. They like purple? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Either way, bad head. there you go. Boy. Yeah. Either way, I think today, you are the walleye master. <laughs> the walleye whisperer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll Nicely take done. it. Nicely done. Yes, you gonna sir. eat him or is he gonna grow bigger? Let's let him go. That's a good idea. Yeah. What a day, bud. We had a heck of a day, Trout. What a we day. We caught a lot of nice fish. Yeah, you are officially the walleye master. I'll take it. Thanks for joining us. If you'd like more information, check out lundboats.com or these other online outlets.